what we're going to do here is we're going to show you guys how to take good head x-rays. A lot of uh, veterinarians are really perplexed by this and intimidated by dental x-rays. And I'm going to show you how to make it really simple. The view we're going to do today, most of the time, the most common tooth that has a problem is the upper nine. Uh, so that's the first molar. So we're going to show you guys a fast way to image the first molar that is going to be diagnostic in most cases. There are some other techniques that we'll cover in other videos, but this is the one that is kind of your bread and butter. Um, and so we're going to walk you guys through that. It's very simple. There's only a couple rules. Rule number one is you need to put a block in the horse's mouth. All dental x-rays without exception other than incisors should always be shot with what we call an open mouth shot. So you need a block somewhere between two and four inches and you're going to put that in the incisors here, okay? He's biting down pretty hard. So we put the block here. I take my dental halter and I place it forward. One misconception that a lot of gurus will tell you is that you need huge crews to do all these dental procedures and uh, here we've got a horse that has a, needs an extraction and I'm going to do it by myself. You don't need anybody. Uh, in this case, we have to have somebody film the video, but you really don't need a huge crew if you have the right training and equipment. So I take these dental x-rays by myself all the time. It's easier, obviously, if you have a lot of help, but if you don't, don't let that stop you from doing what you need to do. So the, the tooth in question on this horse is the uh, 110. So we're going to be imaging the right side. If uh, you can come a little closer here. So what we want to do is, if this is a straight lateral, you always want the cassette on the side that has a bad tooth. Straight lateral would be right here. And you just want to oblique um, maybe about 45 degrees, you know, up from straight lateral. So all the way would be 90 degrees. You're going to go about 45 degrees. So I've got the open mouth uh, block inside. I'm going to put the plate on the side of interest, so towards the number 10, and then shoot about 45 degrees. Alright, that's all there is to it, so let's go take a look at the x-ray, see what it looks like. So you saw how easy it is, there's really not much to it. If you're trying to shoot a palatal view or some of the DVs, which again we'll show in another um, series, there's just a couple more views, but literally in mo many, many cases, you're going to get a diagnostic radiograph just doing what I showed you right there. Mouth open. Um, I will show you one other little trick here. Let me grab a skull. If you look right here, you can see how the teeth are. They're not like parallel tracks. They kind of diverge as you go caudally uh, versus being like train tracks. And so... Um, if we're imaging on this side over here, so if the plate is on the horse's left side and I'm trying to image a number 10 tooth, if I'm perfectly lateral in a caudal to rostral direction, I may not get the interproximal spaces very well. And so you want to be slightly, uh, a little bit caudal to rostral, dorsal to ventral oblique. So instead of having our beam this way, we want to be slightly Coddle the rostral, not a lot, maybe like 10 degrees, and that will get you the interproximal spaces on the 9, 10, 11. And then as we come to the 6, 7, 8, we can go more straight or even slightly rostral to coddle on our beam. So those are literally the, the only tricks you need to go to uh, or know to get really good radiographs. And we can look at the image we've got here. Well, uh, we can see we've got quite a bit of sclerosis around that number 10 tooth. Um, and some enlargement of the periodontal space. And so the, the other thing is we don't want to be, um, you never want to just look at your radiographs without looking at what's going on in the mouth. Only fools do that and we don't want to be a fool. So you always, 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 always correlate what's in the mouth to the radiographs. Again, never ever evaluate dental radiographs in isolation unless you want to be a fool. So here we're looking in the mouth with the oral endoscope. And this is a number nine. And then this is a number 10 tooth where we can see we have a clear fracture. We also have an open pulp and we've got a fracture through the infundibula. So we're correlating and tying together our clinical exam with our radiographs, okay? So the radiographs in many cases 
are not that interesting diagnostically in horses. They're more useful in terms of surgical preparation for the extraction. Uh, normally, if you know how to do a really thorough dental oral exam, you can figure out what's going on in, in about 85 to 90% of cases. The radiographs then just help to support your diagnosis. So we're going to go ahead and do the extraction now, but that's a little tidbit on how to take good dental radiographs. If you like these kind of videos, uh, either comment or like or subscribe, and we're going to try and make more uh, clinical videos for veterinarians on how to be more efficient in, uh, in a clinical setting. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up.